So as a lot of you know, I'm appealing my MLB suspension and I got to head back east to start that process. But before I do that, the Momentum crew decided to have a little bit of fun. Happy challenge day. So this is what we have, piece of paper here. This one says, remove one opponent marker. So we're getting ready to fill up all the balloons. What is this thing called? The inflation station. <laughs> the inflation station. <laughs> Too much inflation. <laughs> So yeah, we're putting a message in a bottle, so to speak, but it's message in a balloon. Consequences for the game, and then we're gonna get these things taped up on the wall and uh, play some Connect Four. <laughs> we set up the baseball version of Connect Four and agreed that the loser gets this. All right, here we go. Oh my. It was Eric and Tosh versus me and Cole. Who's going first? We wanna do a rock, paper, scissors? Come on, two, three, shoot. Let's go! You wanna go first? Winners or? win! Miss! <laughs> When you miss, you don't get another shot. Oh! Hey! Oh! We're throwing strikes. 2022, we throw strikes, baby. Let's go. Team Juco Bandits dominated game one. No! Dude, I'm the best ever. But Team Don't Get Sorted really found our stride in game two and three. Let's go! Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! We learned that Tosh is a ringer. Dude, Tosh is so good. Dang. He's the best player we got, but I'm the strongest player we got. I benched two of five. Eric can't throw a football. Oh! Let's go! That was kind of close, though. That was not close. And some balloons just aren't poppable. Yeah, no! <laughs> I literally hit that directly on the balloon. <laughs> that is not a balloon. These are fucking big leagues of balloons. In the end, the swords were drawn and the Juco bandits were slayed. Eric was pissed and launched a protest, but when the dust settled, the Juco bandits lined up in front of the firing squad and we unleashed water balloon hell on them. Two. Oh! Tosh escaped unscathed, but Eric was not so lucky. Is there a mark? Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> Mother... You know what? It doesn't matter, because when you bench 350, nothing can fucking hurt you. Well, that shit hurt. <laughs> hey, winners win, baby. When it's game time, winners come out to play. Winners win. And now, we're going to roll right into live ABs. We got another challenge with Eric today. It's a $500 hitting challenge. In three innings, if Eric Sim scores a run, he gets $500. If not, my catcher Ty gets the money. Let's do it. Tim took me through a warm up, and after throwing some plyo balls, it was time to compete. Ow. Things started off predictably. Single! Fist, Single me! Fist. Single me! There's ah, no shit. way. Is your bat broken? Dude, no. That's my new goal. I don't even care if I give up a hit now. I just want to break that bat. <laughs> okay, one pitch, one out. Shut up, dude. Hit. Ah. Two pitches, two outs. <laughs> That's yikes. Hey, have a good at bat one time, huh? My good at bat is hitting tank. So two down and two pitches, and usually in a game, people will take. Ah! But I don't do that shit. Fuck tanking, baby. Let's go. I knew that was an auto swing when you started <laughs> yeah. talking. Ah! Oh. Ah! Yes. Ah! Oh. Eric locked it in ah. eventually, though. Ah! Yes! Hey, your boy fucking breaks 24-7. I was devastated. I couldn't believe something this terrible could happen. Uh, That's what it looks like when you give up a fucking bomb to Eric Sim to lose $500. And to make things even worse, I decided to check Twitter. So the news just broke that Matt Harvey, who admitted to committing a felony in court by distributing oxycodone to Tyler Skaggs, who eventually ended up dying, uh, received a 60-game retroactive suspension from MLB. So I just want you to take a second and think to yourself, the suspensions that have been levied against other players and what they have been accused of and found to have not done. What could possibly be worse than distributing drugs that killed a teammate and admitting to committing a felony? I'm just trying to wrap my head around it and I just don't understand. And with that, it was time to head east to start the process of appealing my suspension. After a long day of travel, I arrived late Saturday night, which meant the next morning was lights out and away we go as a fairly even start. Shall we go? Oh, let's go. Time to kick this little trip off in style. We got an F1 race. And somehow, since I'm on East Coast time, I'm watching it live. Let's go, Serge! Yes. Oh! No! I need Verstappen to win. No! And I need Sainz to crash out. I need Leclerc to finish second. And Bottas and Magnussen to finish high. We'll see if I can gain some points in the standings. Move my way up from seventh to maybe fifth or sixth. We'll see how it goes. Lost places as he tumbles down the order. And not for the first time this season, four woes on the track for Carlos Sainz. Yes! Yes! 
Yes, science, I needed it, yes! Oh, he's still gonna end up back up at the top, but that's huge for me. Leclerc Verstappen, I have those two, and science tumbling, and Perez in third or fourth. Well, it's a Red Bull one, two, Verstappen one, Perez two, which means I think I come in second for the week behind uh, Miss Chalupa Hamilton over there. <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad if I lose to her. And at this point, I put my vlog camera down because the rest of the trip was dedicated to stuff that I can't show or talk about. Um, for those of you who don't know and those of you who have been asking, uh, every time a player appeals discipline handed down by the league, the investigation that led to that discipline and the appeal of that discipline are subject to a confidentiality provision that was mutually agreed to by MLBPA and MLB in the CBA. So while I wish that this was all a public process, uh, both parties have to respect that confidentiality provision. Uh, with that being said though, Here's what I can tell you. Uh, no player has ever appealed discipline under the DV policy before. So there's really no precedent to point to in regards to um, procedures or timelines. I know the media has been you know, speculating about what's going on with the appeal, but no one outside of the parties directly involved in the appeal has any insight into what's actually going on. So I would take all those media reports with a grain of salt. Um, you know, I'm still training and I am ready to pitch. Uh, I stand by the statement that I made when the suspension was announced and I look forward to getting back on a field as soon as possible. Uh, and with that, that's really all I can say. So I'll see you guys next week.